Hello everybody, welcome back to Huey's Tackle. Uh, tonight we are going to paint a pumpkin seed. I've already base coated the lure white. Next is going to be a golden yellow by Wicked. I'm going to start this on the belly. Gonna come up the sides here, son. Get in the joints in here. Right now I'm gonna heat set and change colors. All right, this next color is a mint green by Inspire. <coughs> and we're just gonna do the middle section of the bait this color. Right now I'm gonna heat set this real fast. All right, next I've got some, looks like limelight green by Wicked. We're gonna finish covering this back up. And we're gonna shoot down from the top, let the overspray go down the side. Now we're going to heat set this. All right, next I'm going to use a bit of Turbo Dork Blue Raspberry Color Shift. And I'm just going to spray that right along the middle line here. You can do that, it gives it that extra shine. Heat set this. All right, next we're going to use some uh, detailed black magenta by Wicked. 
we're going to use this uh, loofah here in this green. And we're just going to go over the two greens. We're not going to touch the yellow. We're just going to lightly spray it over all of it. You don't have to go heavy, you can go light if you'd like. clean the gun out real fast right, next I normally use red oxide but at the moment I only have this FW ink I think it's called uh, red earth so I'm gonna get this uh, creature feature stencil here or molted stencil from uh, anarchy and I'm just gonna put a little bit of red here Put a little bit along the bay. Right next, I'm going to get the same loof I just used. We're just going to spray right along, kind of like the belly line here. Right now I'm going to heat set this. Alright, so far we're looking like this. Alright, next I've got this smaller uh, pumpkin seed stencil from Insane Custom Stencils. I got the same color I used down here, the red. Here. Now we'll just use this part on the sides. And we're just going to go up till right here where the color changes with this color just 
just like that. Stencil real fast. He said this is swap colors. Alright, next we're going to use some detail sepia. We're going to use the same stencil. We're just going to go right where the green's at with the sepia. Right above where we just went. Spray a little over the back. Down the side some. Now we're gonna heat set this. Alright, next we've got some detailed moss green. We'll spray over the back here.
All right, now we're gonna heat set that. All right, next I'm gonna use some daylight blue. I got this stencil. When you get it, you'll have these on the side, and I'm going to use the bigger ones this time. And you can line them up to where you can leave the red. It'll look like that. Now I'm going to clean up the brush. Alright, next we're just going to use some regular black over the back. A little bit around the eyes here. I'm gonna leave the black in the gum. I'm gonna heat set this. Come on, focus thing. All right, next, we've got this fin wheel. Come put this here. Now she's looking like this. Now I'm going to heat set it and put it back on the stand. All right, next we're going to use some fluorescent orange. I'm going to put her a little bit right here. Heat set this. One more little color, and we should be done. All right, this next color you don't have to use. I just do it for a little extra. I'm using a 4D color shift by Turbo Dork. Now all I'm gonna do is go over the back here with just like a textured style stencil.
I'll eat set this and be right back. Now we're done. So the finished product looks like this. I'm also going to start doing some of the requests y'all guys have been asking for. I know there's a green gizzard shad, some crawls, a checkered board and stuff like that I'm going to work on. And I'm also going to start painting some of these lures, whatever I paint live. I'm going to open up a store again online and start putting these online for y'all to buy if y'all would like. Uh, stay tuned for more and I'll have more patterns shortly.